Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to talk about today is something that is going on with the consumer. There is a panic search going on right now on Google. And people are searching for pawn shop near me. And it seems like cash strapped Americans are panic searching this pawn shop near me. Um, and this search trend is spiking to a record high at the start of July. And it is an anonymous sign that the consumer might be pawning items or selling things that were possibly bought during the Rona boom to raise money quickly amid the worst inflation storm in a generation. Now, let's first start by analyzing the Google search data for pawn shop near me. The search trend started surging in January and exploded higher in the last few months to record highs just days ago. And interest in this search trend is nationwide. Some of the most interest is in the deep south. So like by me, like Florida and Texas and Georgia, okay. And Google, they provide related search trends that are, are like all in like breakout territory, if you will, including pawn shop, open pawn shop near me, pawn shop open, cash pawn shop near me. Yeah. Now, perhaps, you know, because the economy, it's, it's just, it's bad. Okay. It's not like it's, this is, I'm telling you something that you just don't already know, but consumers who have endured more than two years of negative real wage growth while depleting savings, racking up records amounts of credit card debt in the highest interest rate in a generation. They're tapping new lifelines and they're tapping new lifelines by panic set selling items for cash. Now, be honest here, who here has once, at least once in your lifetime, been to a pawn shop to either buy or sell, okay? So you know what I'm talking about, okay? You can sometimes go to a pawn shop and you are finding the best deals you ever found, whether it's on a TV or your, your new firearm or jewelry or whatever the case may be, all right? So think about all of those stay-at-home purchases that consumers made during the pandemic, okay? Think about, I mean, Online shopping was booming. It was nuts. It was insane. I couldn't walk out my front door without seeing packages piled up in front of everybody's front door. And I mean, all of my neighbors, everybody. So this could be more evidence that the consumer is cracking. Companies like Cheerios maker General Mills, Walgreens, Boots Alliance, they have recently warned about a weakening consumer. Goldman's Rich uh, Pizvorsky, and that his last name is uh, spelled P-R-I-V-O-R-O-S-K-Y. He told clients just last month, something's not quite adding up on the consumer. And he also said, have we just run out of excess savings and are we returning to replenishing savings? Well, first, people aren't making money to get by. They're living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of homes, you know, home, you know, home whole households, if you will, are, are down to one income, where it used to be two, now it's down to one income. They're having to make tough decisions. So, no, there's not a lot of... Uh, online purchases going on anymore and yeah people are going to extremes now they are pawning what they have um just to make ends meet so do yourself the favor and google pawn shop near me just put pawn shop and see what the drop down box comes up with 
because that will show you what I'm talking about. It's it's a little crazy. Here, I'll, I'll show you um, just real quick what uh, I'm talking about real quick. Okay, here you go. So with all of those screenshots that I just put up for you, okay, and that was uh, actual Google searches on my computer, okay, something just snapped. It's obvious. Something just snapped and consumers are in serious panic mode right now. All right. So I, I honestly... I honestly don't know what more to say, okay? Um, except for maybe this. If you have, if you have valuables in your home, lock them up. Even if you know you're gonna be having family over and there's that one crazy cousin who you know has five little sticky fingers. You know what I'm saying. Okay? Just looking out. All right? All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fear less. Ciao.